Hi, this is Nick from Canaweld coming at you or coming at you today from our office in Vaughan, Ontario. Uh, today we're going to be doing another video on our larger TIG welding machine series. So this is the TIG ACDC 401. So this guy is a 400 amp TIG welding machine uh, that will also do stick welding down here. So these machines are pretty awesome. They've got a lot of advanced features. They've got a high duty cycle. Like I said, it's 400 volts or 400 amps, which is a lot of power for TIG welding. And because it's AC-DC, you can do aluminum, you can do steel, and you can do stainless steel. Uh, these machines come with a three-year warranty, and they can come in either air-cooled or water-cooled if you plan on running them very, very hard. We have the applicable torches for either. So what we're gonna do is zoom in on this faceplate here so you guys can get a better look at it. And we're gonna run through some of just the basic features. Okay, there's a lot here to cover. I don't want this to be a 30-minute video, so we're just kinda gonna brush over everything real quick. Okay. Okay, so let's start uh, running through some of these features and see if I remember what they all mean. So, first thing you're gonna see up here is this green light. There's an HF and a TIG, TIG symbol, TIG torch symbol with AC. So this tells me right now that I'm in high frequency AC TIG welding mode for doing aluminum. After that, we can do high frequency DC for welding mild steel and stainless steel. After that, we can slip down here into scratch start DC. And then down here, we are going to be in stick welding mode. If you follow along over here, you see this light, it's an AV, you got an A and a V. So the amps and the volts. So depending on how you need to think about it or whatever you're used to, you can see that we're at 62.5 volts or 51 amps when we're in stick welding mode. And the same is yeah, so it's a little different for the TIG. Yeah, so we can't even reach that because we're in DC. Okay, so follow along down here. The arrow down and the arrow up is for the thumb controls on your TIG torch. Arrow down, arrow up is the same as what we call two-step, which means you're going to depress the power button on the TIG torch, you're gonna hold it, and you're gonna have power, and then when you release it, you are going to stop having power. If you happen to go into the double arrows, that means you're in four-step mode, which means that you will press and then release the TIG button, or the, the power button on your TIG torch, and the power will stay on. When you're ready for the power to go off, you will press and then release the button again, and it will go off. I like to use four-step because it allows me to maneuver my hand a little bit without having to keep my thumb pressed down on the trigger. Down here, we can go into tack welding mode. Uh, which is handy for when you need to quickly tack things together and get busy. Okay, next let's go back into high frequency AC because that's got the most options. So now we can pick whether we want to do square wave, we want to do pulsed because this machine has a pulse TIG welding feature which is awesome for welding on thin steel and thin aluminum without deforming it too much. Now when it blinks that means we're in triangle wave and we can also move down into sinusoidal wave. So let's go back up into pulse. Let's turn our pulse on. So now we can decide if we want slow, fast, or ultra fast pulsing. So a really slow pulse is a good way to learn and to get used to doing your rhythm. Maybe you're not so worried about deflection in your material, but you really just want to make it beautiful. A nice slow pulse is a good way to get your feel for it and build up your steam. Once you get down, Oops, there we go, uh, into ultra fast. That means it's gonna be pulsing so fast that you can barely even tell that it's pulsing. You'll be able to tell by the sound, but your eye won't really pick it up. Something that's important, when you're doing the fast and the ultra fast, you wanna use a fixed shade helmet because using an auto tint helmet, especially if you're using a cheaper brand of auto tint helmet, it's not gonna be able to tint and untint fast enough to keep up with the pulse, and you're gonna find that your eyes become very agitated over a little bit of time. So next, let's check out these. So here, this is for the thickness of your tungsten. That's supposed to be a picture of a tungsten and the arrows are indicating thickness. So maybe we're using the 3.2, 2.96, all the way down, you dial it into whatever, however many millimeter of tungsten you're using. When you're doing, because we're set in AC, we can control the AC balance, right? More or less is gonna determine how much our bead penetrates and how much cleaning action we have on the aluminum. Uh, sometimes when welding certain types of aluminum, it can appear to be quite dirty or it might not strike very nice for you. So adjusting your AC balance can become critical. 
And down here is your frequency, which applies to, again, to using your pulse. So the frequency of the pulse. Down here, you can see that there's a memory button and a program button. So this machine has programs already pre-programmed into it for welding certain materials. But with the memory, you can set up your own jobs and then you can lock in jobs and then you can go back to them and reference them over and over again so you don't have to play with all the functions over and over and over again. So uh, like I mentioned, this is a 400 amp TIG welding machine, AC-DC. You can weld steel, stainless steel, and aluminum. And with 400 amps, you can run this thing hard all day. The duty cycle is quite high. It comes with a three-year warranty. So if you're looking at starting a fab shop where you want to do a lot of TIG welding, a lot of it, uh, I recommend checking out this machine. You have the power to play all day and with the water cooled function you can keep you, your machine and your, uh, your material nice and cool uh, while you're working away. So we have these in stock if anybody's interested in coming down and checking them out. These are a lot of fun to play with and uh, I always look forward to the chance that I can break one out. Okay guys, so that uh, sums it up for this quick video on the TIG ACDC 401 made by Canaweld. Thanks a lot for watching. I always appreciate the views and the likes and everything like that. Uh, don't forget, if you're tech savvy, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, if you enjoy what you saw today, hit that subscribe button down below. And until I catch you guys next week, stay safe out there and keep having a lot of fun. Thanks a lot.